I proposed to Annabelle after just three months of dating. Uh, three months after that, we were married. A year later came our first daughter, and then uh, a year after that came daughter number two. Before I met Peter, I'd been born into a family with a devout Catholic mom and an atheist dad. And church for me was one of those things that I had to do. It wasn't something I really wanted to do. And then at the age of 17, I left home and went to work in a bank, which is where I met Peter. We had a number of challenges in those early years of marriage with both of us in demanding jobs uh, and extremely unhelpful influences from family and friends on, on both sides. Annabel was in a business partnership with family from her side, which further exacerbated the situation through uh, additional non-Christian influences. Things came to a head when I allowed one of my family to stay with us while they worked through a tough period in their life, which placed uh, incredible further stress on our marriage. We were doing all the quote unquote right things. We went to church on Sundays, attended pre-marriage counselling course, and we also got our daughters christened. But through it all, I never really had a personal relationship with Jesus. And then the strain of life and our home situation all came to a head one evening, when it just felt like I was on a continuous hamster wheel of demands, with no rewards in sight. And all of these little things came crashing together, and I told Peter one evening that I wanted a divorce. I remember that as one of the saddest and angriest times of my life. Uh, my daughters, who I loved dearly, would be torn from me and there was nothing I could do to stop it. Um, I couldn't understand how it had got to this point, but I had no option other than to, to let it go. I moved into a little home with our two girls and we really struggled financially for a while. One evening after work and exhausted from a really long day, but still having to do the housework, I had that aha moment. I heard this very clear voice saying to me, I'm all you need. I just want you to have a relationship with me. Despite having walked away from God and church and diving into the world of chakras and healing crystals, I knew in my soul that this was the voice of God. Three years had passed since our divorce and, and God began softening both of our hearts. Gradually we became friends again and as we put the girls' needs uh, ahead of our own. Even though we led separate lives and dated other people, we both eventually realized that the grass was not greener on the other side, but greenest where you watered it most. Through realizing some of where we had gone wrong the first time around, I plucked up the courage and asked her out on a date. Just like the first time, a few months after dating one another, Peter again asked me to marry him. We again attended a pre-marriage course, but this time with a very mature church eldership couple. We worked through a lot of our hurts, and after three years apart, we got remarried on our wedding anniversary date. Our daughters could not have been happier. After recommitting our whole lives to the Lord and forgiving each other, we reconciled in full peace. We went off to work in the Middle East, joined a wonderful church, and were no longer weekend Christians. We both got baptized together and submitted to what God wanted from us. We felt more blessed then than in any other time in our lives and experienced the joy of the Lord in everything we did after that. Again and again, we recognized how God, despite our own ideas on things, was beautifully choreographing our lives for good. We've now been remarried for 17 years through God's grace. He has used us in various family and church situations to help keep marriages together. And we know He is still very busy using us in this way. We're so grateful for our difficult journey. But believe me when I say things are not always easy, but we try to be obedient, seeking God's guidance, and He just never stops amazing us. We've learned the importance of being obedient to Christ on a daily basis, and for our marriage to flourish, we need to keep Him at the center. And I believe we're a living testimony that through His grace, He can repair even the most broken of marriages.